here and I'm joined with the queen of social media, you know, Rachel Peterson. You might be following, you might be one of the millions of people that follow her uh, and you can follow her life of two businesses while supporting three children, which is pretty amazing. And from what I know from her, the secret to doing this is her systems and operations and workflow that make social media posting easy and simple. And so we're going to talk about that today because 2022 is going to be an awesome year for content creation. And so uh, we're going to dive in deep with a lot of knowledge today. Rachel, how are you doing this morning? So good. I am caffeinated and ready to rock and roll. How about you, Austin? You ready? Doing awesome. Yeah. The uh, Jarvis <laughs> team is hard at work. We're excited. We always love it having you on. You always bring so Aww. much value. I think this is encore number four this year so far. That's a lot. I didn't realize it was that many, but I'm excited about it. So should we just dive on in? Yeah, let's dive on in. So let's go for it. Now, uh, I, I always do something pretty fun. We're going to give a giveaway. So if you do hashtag nugget during this, if something that Rachel says is really, you know, clicks for you, I want you to share that with everyone using the hashtag nugget. And uh, after the training, we're going to randomly select three people. Uh, to give away a uh, free Jarvis swag hoodie. A hoodie. Uh, this is my favorite hoodie. And uh, this is just so you all get a gift for giving knowledge to everybody else. Beautiful. And is that in the restream chat or in the YouTube chat? A couple people are asking. And it's a really good question. Yeah. So I'm going to show the chat over here. Uh, we are actually streaming across... I think at least 10 different channels um, between all of us here. So if you post no matter what channel you're on, um, we will see it coming up on, on this uh, channel right here. So we'll randomly select three people and then uh, I'll just call you up by name and uh, we'll hook you up. Uh, amazing, amazing. And I'm pretty sure Restream shows the, the chat in the YouTube chats too sometimes, right? Or does it depend, hit or miss? Yeah, so it's pulling. You can see here the uh, it says YouTube. I don't know actually which specific channel that they're on because we're streaming from I think four different YouTube channels. But perfect, yeah. amazing, <laughs> amazing. All right, you guys ready? We're just gonna dive on in. We gotta talk fast because we've got a lot today, and I understand everyone is busy right now. Um, drop a yes in the chat if you guys are busy. By the way, this is kind of wild. Um, we are actually gonna give away bonuses too. Is that cool with you? Um, Austin's going to say yes, so I'll just go for it. We are going to give away bonuses for the three most engaged people, and we will announce and contact at the end of this. Cool? So I want to see you guys be super engaged. I will say sometimes you'll notice that the internet's going to like kind of fall behind, lag a little bit, because there's going to be so many people and so much gold that literally the internet's like, Rachel, we can't keep up. So let's dive on in. A couple quick, super important pre-frames, all right? Number one, this is huge. So many times people fall into this trap. It's a really dangerous trap. It keeps a lot of us from ever creating and taking action and following through. And this trap is called the I already know that trap. Now, I'm going to let you guys know straight up, I fall into this trap sometimes too. So it's really helpful to have this preframe here because without this preframe, what's going to happen is you're going to say, mm, I already know that. Okay, awesome. Are you doing that? Tough love moment. I'm just going to be a mom for a second. If you're not already doing that, don't fall into the I already know that trap. Cool. Drop a yes in the chat if you are trusting me on this. Okay. Number two, a lot of times the things that I share are super simple and this is on purpose. I am a huge fan of things that are simple, um, mostly because life is wild and busy and like I have three kids and a husband and uh, I try to have hobbies, not very successfully, but <laughs> you guys feel me on this. Sometimes the things that I share are going to be so simple that you're going to be like, are you kidding me? This is so simple. Okay, awesome. Are you doing it? Fantastic. Let's get you to do it today. I also want you to keep in mind, this is not my quote, but there is a fantastic quote. And this is a huge lesson for me as well. Small hinges move big doors. The first time I heard this, I was like, this makes so much sense because sometimes we're looking for these wildly advanced techniques and tactics when we're not even implementing the basics. Who here knows that if you wanted to get physically fit, one of the best things that you can do is probably 
move your body, drink water and eat more vegetables, right? Super, super, super simple, right? So we might say like, well, I don't want to walk on the treadmill. That's too simple. I want to do something really intense, like six hours of CrossFit. <laughs> not me. I will not do burpees, but are you guys catching my drift here? Small hinges move big doors. So do not think, oh, this is too small or, oh, this is too simple or, oh, this is too obvious. Because if it were just simple, obvious, basic, like wouldn't everyone be doing it? Wink, wink, wink. All right. The third thing that I'm going to share, and this is big. Uh, a lot of times people do not post because they say, I'm really, really nervous about what people are going to say. What are people going to think? What if people criticize me? And who here has been around to see that I have criticism on pretty much every single platform, pretty much every single day. Now, I'm just going to straight up say, like, I wanted to dedicate this time to supporting you guys. So if you're here to criticize me, honestly, don't take that negativity here. Go write it in your journal. Go write it somewhere else. Go post it on your profile. I don't care. But if you're here to criticize and say, like, you're dumb, you're ugly, you're stupid, and your ponytail looks frizzy, awesome. Go somewhere else and share that. This is not the place for that. I already have kids, including teenagers. I don't have time for that. Cool. A um, couple more things. This will be super helpful. Number one, <laughs> yes, there will be a replay. Okay. Drop a yes in the chat if you hear me on this, but I still recommend being here 10 out of 10 live because who here knows that the energy is fantastic. Okay. Number one, there will be a replay. So if you see people asking, you guys can let them know that there will be a replay. This, the second big preframe for uh, the technical aspects of this, I will share the Google Doc I'm working in at the end of this training. We figured out how to not break Google. We've broken Google a few times. It's not my favorite thing that happens, but it's exciting. So we figured out how to not break Google. So I can share this with you guys at the end of this training. Cool. So if you see people asking, you guys can go for it. All right. We're going to dive on in. Now, quick question for you. I'm going to ask four questions. And we're going to figure out if these are four things that you've been struggling with. You guys are super engaged. This is fantastic. Okay. So I'm willing to bet that part of the reason you've been struggling with figuring out your marketing and content plan for 2022 or 2021 or 2020 or the past decade is because ready, drop a one. If this is you, number one, you're feeling like, what the heck do I talk about? Drop a, drop a one in the chat. If that is you. Okay. Number two, this may be you. People say, I don't know what anything I can share. I don't know anything that can give value. I don't know. I don't know anything I can share. Drop a two if that is you. Number three, this is a big one. I've already posted everything I know. I thought one time I'm going to give value and I posted a couple of comments or posts and all of a sudden I'm out of things. I have nothing else to post. What else can I share? Drop a three in the chat if that's you. That one makes me laugh because I remember without the right plan, um, I experienced that once and I was like, I am out of stuff. <laughs> I have nothing else. I said all my good stuff. What I'm going to share with you is going to help you with this, but there's number four and this is big. Ready for this. Everything that's been meant to be said has already been said by someone else. I don't want to add to the noise. Drop a four if that is you. Okay, you guys see yourselves in these four statements, right? Today, we are going to break down a systematic plan to help you plan and research, create, and automate your marketing plan for 2022. Plus, it's going to give you exactly what to talk about in a custom, not one size fits all. Drop a yes if you're excited about that. This is not generic. This is one that is custom for you. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to figure out exactly what to talk about. Number two, I'm going to help you discover things that you never thought you could answer, which is really, really, really exciting. Number three, we're going to tap into different things that you hadn't thought of that you can bring value to to your audience. And number four, and I just have to preframe this one right here right now, people will say everything that's been meant to be said has already been said, right? Okay. Did you guys know? This is wild. I've never shared this before. The number one most covered song in the history of the world is Yesterday by the Beatles. Anyone like that song? This is so wild. There are 1,600 professionally recorded covers of Yesterday by the Beatles. Drop a woe in the chat if that is surprising to you. So why in the world, if the Beatles were the originals that shared this amazing song, why in the world would there be 1,600 professionally recorded covers? That doesn't even include all of the non-professional covers, right? The truth is, you guys, this is like a mind, mind bender to me. We all love to hear something covered 
by the person whose voice we love the most. So in case you've ever thought everything that needs to be shared has already been shared, remember that people who love you and who are waiting to find their person to follow and connect with, they're just waiting for your voice to cover it. You got that? Whoa, right? So that's one that I've never shared before. I love this so much because it helped me get through some really hard times where I was like, Amy Porterfield's already said everything there's to say. Marie Forleo already said it all. No, there are covers for a reason. People want your voice for a reason. Okay, drop a yes if that already gave you some value. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one major heads up. Um, this training is sponsored by Jarvis and Metricool. So I want you to know that even though I'm not personally going to make you an offer, I'm going to share with you some solutions that have really, really helped me. Okay. So you can check out those links. Um, at some point, Austin, I'm going to drop this for you to drop, uh, at any point. It's totally fine. You can decide when you want to share it, but let's dive on in. Okay. So first things first, there are three phases to this. Okay. Ready? There's planning and research. There's creation and there's automation. Got it? Planning and research. There's creation and there's automation. I'm about to give you guys my entire process for planning and research. Now, here's the thing. It is the hardest thing in the world to come up with your content on the fly if you do not have a clear plan. It is literally like walking through a grocery store with no plan and then getting home and realizing that you have a bunch of snacky foods, <laughs> but nothing that actually creates a meal. So if you've ever tried to create before and you haven't had a consistent plan in place, it's no wonder it hasn't worked for you. Just like even I, who am a pre I'm a pretty good cook, if I walk through the grocery store and I'm hungry and I don't have a plan, I'm literally going to set myself up to fail. Drop a yes in the chat if you realize that this is already different for you. So first things first, I will share this Google Doc and I will share with you guys the calendar that you need in order to build this out yourselves. Okay, so ready. I'm going to share my screen with you guys and I know it's going to be a little blurry. Oh, you're already on it. Dang, Austin, you're so good. Uh, Austin and team, actually. Jarvis and Metricool are both so fantastic. They've been seriously some of my favorite companies, not only to use, but to work with. Okay, so Jarvis and Metricool training with Rachel Peterson. Here we go. We are going to start with phase one, which is plan and research. So the first thing that I want you to do is recognize that I use some really weird words. Okay, drop a yes in the chat if you recognize that. So some people talk about niching. I personally deal with specialties. So your Cosmo, this is your universe of content. Your Cosmo is your specialty. So for example, for me right now, my specialty is TikTok. Uh, now, do I have some other specialties that at times I will rotate in and out? Yeah, technically, really and truly. I also could be profitable social media strategies organically, but I want you guys to drop your specialty in the chat. Is it Instagram? Is it health? Is it fitness? Is it parenting? Is it, go ahead and drop your specialty in the chat. So we'll use one that's actually a little more simple for me right now. We'll just do organic social media. That's my Cosmo. Okay. So I'm going to map this out for me. So if this helps you too, to have examples, fantastic. Okay. Macro equals the month, micro equals the week and nano equals the day. Why? I like these words. They make it feel more fun than just saying year, month, week day. Okay. So drop your specialty in the chat. All right. So if my Cosmo, my universe of content is organic social media, I need to come up with 12 macros that correspond with each month. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this right now. So let's say I wanted to just talk about a specific platform each and every week or each and every month. Um, that would be one way to go about this. This is the simplest way to do this. You guys following? Drop a yes if this is making sense so far. I'm breaking it down step by step to make it easy. So first, you're going to come up with your Cosmo. Then you're going to come up with 12 macros, okay? So let's go ahead and even make that clearer here. You need 12 macros. Now, these are topics you could talk about for a while. Would you guys like if I also broke it down for uh, a specialty? So there we go. Now, what's wild about this uh, is if I were to focus on my Cosmo, the specialty of TikTok, the 12 macros could be things like TikTok hashtags, TikTok growth, TikTok captions, TikTok strategies, TikTok uh, troubleshooting, TikTok recording videos, TikTok editing videos, TikTok. Do you guys catch where this is going? Drop a yes if this is making sense so far. 
So we're going to go ahead and do this for organic social media. Okay. So TikTok is one uh, macro. The second one could be Pinterest. The next one could be YouTube. The one after that could be Instagram, though I'm actually on a break from Instagram. You know why? I just wanted a break, honestly. Anyone else ever feel that way? I feel that way a lot, okay? We could do Facebook. We could do Facebook groups, although I don't talk about those a lot. We also could talk about things that people, generally speaking, ask me about. How would I categorize the subtopics within my Cosmo? All right, going back to the comments, making sense so far? Who here says, this is doable. I could totally do this. This is already bringing some serious uh, order to the world of chaos of creating content. Okay. I could also do lead gen. I could do sales. I could do, because all these things are things that people ask about when it comes to organic social media. I could do growing followers as a whole. I could do content creation. I could do um, hashtags and captions. I could do uh, when to bring in the next step. I could do when to hire or rather things that help with hiring of organic social media people. A lot of times people will say like, Rachel, can you look over my macros? But here's the thing, this is unique to you. So one of the biggest issues that I've had with following advice from gurus is it feels like it's always one size fits all. This is for you, got this? You create this in the way that makes sense for you. So if you say, you know what, TikTok, Hashtags month one, TikTok captions month two, TikTok growth ha uh, month three, et cetera. That's fine. And then if you want to switch to Instagram uh, captions month four, Instagram hashtags month five. Got it? So one of the biggest things I've noticed when people don't implement this, it's because they're like, I don't want to do it wrong. No, this is here as a tool to support you. So a done content plan is a perfect content plan, especially the one that you can follow because it makes sense to you. So if something that I do doesn't make sense, do it the way that makes sense for you. Cool. All right, let's keep on going. Who's having fun? Drop a yes if you're having fun because I am already. Okay. Now the hardest part of this is already done. Drop a yes in the chat if this is exciting for you. Okay. You've got your Cosmo. We could put a little check there if we wanted to. Okay. Let's get that check on the screen. Here we go. Check. I love the green check marks because they feel so gamifying, if that makes sense. In the past, I do have trainings that break down how to further niche down or further specialize your micro and your nano, but we're not going to today because the goal is that it's finished, not that it's perfect. Got me? Okay. So we've got this ready to rock and roll. All right. Now you're probably like, okay, what the heck do I do with that? Ready for this? This is going to get good. This is your entire 2022 content plan. Now you can adjust these days. You can also adjust the dates. This is meant to be an outline that supports you. So if you start this, let's say tomorrow, you can decide how to adjust the months according to when you start. Uh, I know that for me in particular, I have ADHD uh, and it really stresses me out when my ADHD causes me to like miss a day. And then I feel like my whole calendar is no good. So run this calendar how it makes sense for you. This is a guideline. It's like Johnny Depp in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Captain Jack Sparrow. All right. So right here you have your month one macro. So for example, I'd put TikTok. You guys following so far? The cool thing is we have actually 12 tabs on this content plan. So we could fall, uh, fill it out 100%. So I've got my example here. Don't worry about micro. That just means week. Don't worry about nano. That just means day. You can change up these day uh, labels here. But what we're going to go ahead and do is take this to a new level with research and planning. Just making sure everyone following so far. Who here says this is so doable? Fantastic. Okay, we're going to dive on in to answer the public. Answer the public before you go there. Just take notes as we go. Um, by the way, in case you guys are wondering how long does this planning process usually take, it's, for an entire year, it's going to take about a day. Uh, you can do it a couple hours at a time. Some people move really fast. For a lot of people, the first time you do this, it's very challenging. For me now today, it takes me about 
three hours to do a year's content plan for all of an of a business. So who here says drop a yes in the chat if you realize that those uh, three to 12 hours, that's going to save you so much time moving forward. Drop a yes in the chat if you hear me on that. Cool. Okay. So you do get faster with that, which is awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'm going to find uh, what Answer the Public does is it compiles all of the top most Googled questions about whatever topic it is that you're searching for. So basically, instead of me guessing and wondering and trying to think of things and racking my brain and feeling like, ah, I never know what value to bring, sound familiar? Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the power of Answer the Public. Now, you get one to two free searches every 24 to 48 hours. Otherwise, it's $97 a month. So if I were to break this down, I'd say maybe do this monthly and do your searches like, you know, one per 24 hours or whatever. That's one way to go about it. Or sometimes I'll pay for a month, use it a ton and then cancel it. Except right now I just pay for it because I use it all the time for all of my clients, for myself, for um, students so much. Okay, so. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the simplest search, which is searching for TikTok. Got it? Now, you'll notice I searched in the U.S. and I searched in English-speaking countries. Now, Answer the Public does the hard work for me of the research. They've already got this fantastic algorithm that compiles all the top most Googled questions. So why is this so powerful real fast? Robert Collier said that you should always enter the conversation already going on in your prospect's brain. It's a fantastic way to think of marketing. The second thing that I want to share that's big, uh, I believe it comes from Claude Hopkins, is if you can describe the pain and problems that your dream client or customer is having better than they can, then the truth is they're going to assume that you have the solution. Drop a yes in the chat if this is inspiring to you, because these two quotes help me think of how I can serve people better. Now, a lot of times when people say, like, how do I figure out what it is that my audience wants? They kind of freak out and are like, I'm going to go ask in a group. But the truth is, you guys, no one ever answers those questions honestly. Why? Because people are watching. Can I get a yes or an amen in the chat if you feel this way too? So this is so big. Uh, when it comes to, by the way, my team is going to be watching for the most engaged people. and We're going to pick the three most engaged and we'll share them at the end and we're going to give some prizes. I know that they're surprised by that today. So they're like, Rachel, dang it. Um, but the wild thing is like whenever people ask, like, what are you struggling with? What keeps you up at night? Like people don't answer honestly because we all feel the same pressure to show up like we have everything figured out. Who here has felt that way at times? I'm going to raise both hands. It can feel very, very vulnerable to ask a question or admit um, something that's not going well. So the truth is, you guys, like people don't answer those questions honestly. The place where people are the most honest is in their Google search history. Drop a yes. If you would rather do many things, if you'd rather stand on a stage naked than have your uh, your Google history read out loud, drop a yes in the chat if this is you. I know anyone who's ever written a book feels this way. Anyone who's ever done research has felt this way. You do not want your Google history read out loud to the world because it feels very private and vulnerable, even more private than your journal, even more private than your conversations with your best friend, right? Okay, so... The cool thing is you do not need to guess what people are thinking. Answer the Public does that heavy lifting for you. So we're going to take a peek at this. Check this out. What Answer the Public just did is it just compiled for me 80 questions that are the most asked about TikTok. Drop a yes if you just realized I don't have ever again. This is for you too. Like we don't ever again have to guess what people need support with. Drop a yes in the chat if you see this. This is so cool, isn't it? And we're going to keep ramping this up here. You can hit download CSV and instantly get a little handy dandy uh, Excel spreadsheet of all of these questions compiled. So you can pick the 28 to 31 for any given month that you feel are the best. Now, the cool thing is, let's say you pay for the month uh, at 97 or you just decide to search each and every day. Instead, I could search for TikTok growth. I could also search for TikTok captions. I could search for TikTok hashtags. I could search for TikTok followers. I could search any one of those combinations of keywords is going to bring up different sets of questions. So check this out. 19 questions. How to grow TikTok fast. TikTok growth tips. How to grow your TikTok account. Which TikTok has the most followers? Will TikTok continue to grow? Drop a yes in the chat if we just solved the world's biggest problem of what the heck am I going to say? What research do I need? This is pretty cool right? Okay. Let's keep on going. 
What I'm going to do from there is I'm going to go back to my viral framework. By the way, this process, uh, I've called it the viral framework. It's a process that I came up with uh, one night when I pulled an all-nighter and I was way too excited because something started clicking for me on how to systematically provide value. Side note, little tangent, it took me seven times at least presenting this before people got how powerful this was. So this is your reminder that if the first time you share a message, people don't get it, but you really believe in it, keep refining it until they do. The first at least seven, and it might've even been as many as 15, the first seven to 15 times I shared this with people, their eyes glazed over and they said, cool. And I was like, no, this isn't cool. This is revolutionary. This is a systematization of delivering value every single day. Can you guys see why I'd be so excited? And so whenever people didn't get it, my heart was broken, but I realized that I needed to evolve my messaging until it communicated the power of it effectively. Okay. Woo. Who likes these little tangents as we go? Uh, I could just deliver the nuggets but then you wouldn't be getting the full Rachel Peterson experience. Okay. I'm laughing at myself. Let's go for it. So let's say I want to do, uh, how to come on. Oh, my old, my old laptop is like struggling. There we go. How to grow TikTok fast. I finally got one of those M1 computers, but it's on its way and it doesn't arrive until mid month. So it's been several months, how to grow TikTok fast. Okay. That is your content prompt for that day. You do not need to start with how to grow your TikTok fast, but you can. You can use this on, ready for this? TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook groups, Instagram stories, blogs, emails, podcasts, LinkedIn, live videos. Drop a yes in the chat if this is blowing your mind. It is that simple, okay? Next, I could talk about, let's actually, we can go back to one more search that I just did. Let's go ahead and search. And then we're going to talk about what comes next. Okay, cool. Just so you guys can get a feel for this. So there were fantastic results, 80 questions. So let's say, for example, um, where TikTok draft videos are saved. That's a really, really powerful question that I can answer. And here's a big hint. If you can't answer it. If you can't answer it, look up the answer. Cool. Now, the only time that that would not be ethical is if you looking up the answer would leave someone in a dangerous spot. So for example, if you're a doctor, actually even doctors sometimes have to YouTube different things. So I'm actually just gonna stop there. Cool, all right, let's keep on going. So drop a yes in the chat if this makes sense to you. With about, so we have it planned where there are four micros and seven-ish nanos per uh, month. What that equates to is about 28, uh, well, 28 nanos or content prompts per month. This is actually perfectly aligned with the number of national and federal holidays per year. So if you create this plan, you can actually just put the date that you use a prompt uh, so I could put December 9th, 2021, and then know that that prompt has already been used, or you could change it to a different color. Cool. Everyone feel good about this process. Drop a yes in the chat if you are excited about this. And if you're lost, watch this training again on the replay. Cool. All right. We're going to go to what comes next. So what you're going to do there is fill in the viral framework template. I'm going to share this template with you guys at the end of this training. Cool. Just because I don't want you guys to start like jumping on and taking it on already. Cool. So let's go to create. I can take a break real fast from my screen sharing while I just check in with everybody. If it's confusing, watch it again. Take it step by step. All right. Cool. Everybody's doing good. Can we actually pause my screen share just for a moment while I switch tabs? Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and log on in two different places. Cool. I try not to have too many tabs open at once. It's kind of hard sometimes. Austin, do you ever load up your, <laughs> do you ever load up your, um, your tabs, your browsers, and then your browser's super mad at you? I can't hear you. I think you're muted. Testing, testing. Oh, okay. He was like, just kidding. Bye. <laughs> okay. Let's keep on going, guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys 
the next step. So drop a yes if you are ready for create. Who here is going to watch this again, by the way? Some of you guys are like, oh, absolutely. Okay, so I try to shut tabs as I go. So my, this, especially this old computer, doesn't get mad at me. All right, let's go ahead and take a peek. Are you ready for this? So we're going to go with, ready? How to grow TikTok fast. So once you've done the planning, I recommend doing this in, let's say, like a week or, you know, a day. Maybe you plan one day for this process. What I'm going to go ahead and do from here is if I want to create my content ahead of time, you could do it every week. You could do it every month. You could do it each morning. Um, but let's say on Monday mornings, I'm going to create all of my content for the week or maybe Sunday night while my kids are in bed. I'm going to go ahead and use this as the base for starting my content. And we're going to go to Jarvis. Now, I use a ton of different templates. Who here, by the way, has used Jarvis? Uh, drop a yes or a no in the chat if you have or have not used it. So I'm going to show you guys how I use it. I use a lot of different frameworks within here. The templates are fantastic. And we could talk about all the different features, but there are a ton of features. And my goal right now is actually to simplify this process. Cool. So one of the uh, two of the ones that I use for social as like a base for most of my content is the AIDA framework and the PAS framework. So this is attention, interest, desire, action, and problem agitate solution. It's very similar to something we've all heard, hook, story, offer. Cool, drop a yes in the chat if this is all coming together for you. So let's go ahead and what is the solution I wanna offer? Let's say I wanna offer my TikTok for business bundle, okay? Then I could talk about how to grow your TikTok fast in 2022. So this TikTok for business bundle and help you grow your TikTok fast. All right. Should we do like, I like bold. I like energetic tone. You get to choose what tone of voice Jarvis writes in. And it's really, really cool. So basically Jarvis, for those of you who aren't familiar, is actually AI. And this is a funny story. When I first heard about Jarvis, I was like, I don't know if I see it. And then my friends showed me how to use it. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I instantly messaged Austin. and was like, I need to use this. Like, please get, let me in, let me, let me in. Um, so the truth is you guys, basically what it does is it, uh, scans lots of content on the internet and it basically becomes this tool that supports you in creating your written copy. So you can use it for so many things. You can use it for creating Instagram captions. You can use it for creating bios for your YouTube videos, scripts for your YouTube videos. You can write blog content. It can create email subject lines. It can help you create your emails. Uh, you, you can use it for um, hooks for TikTok. All of these are considered applicable uses. So let's go ahead. Uh, I want to address one big thing from Laura because this comes up a lot from writers and I totally get this. A lot of copywriters, content writers get nervous. I am a freelancer and I am not a fan of things that put copywriters, content writers, uh, social media managers, email marketers out of business. That is not my methodology. Okay. But rather I want to share two things that Jarvis can be used for. One is to uh, speed up the process of content writing and copywriting for writers and freelancers. So it can actually help them to become more effective. But then the second thing as well is the clients that can't afford you yet. There's almost like this chicken and the egg situation where they're like, I can't really afford to hire someone to write all of my content for me, but I need to get my content done, but I'm also trying to run this business. So what I love about it is it's a fantastic fantastic bridge. Um, I also 10 out of 10 recommend that you do run things through plagiarism checks always. So I personally will tweak things. I think Austin may have an official response to that. So he could share it in the chat or something. Um, but the truth is, you guys, I always tweak the copy I get from Jarvis to make sure it shows up in my voice. But the truth is, you guys, this is not meant to replace copywriters and content writers, and it won't. 
What it is rather is a bridge either until you can afford them or to actually support your content writers and copywriters from getting burnt out because burnout is a real and dangerous thing. And then people leave the writing profession. Okay, let's keep on going. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, when I use Jarvis, I'm going to have to shrink my window just a little. I always use 10 outputs. Okay. If you don't, if you have a limited uh, amount of words, like a, a lower limit amount of words that you're uh, signed up for using this every single month, do not do 10 outputs or you will run out of words too fast. So do like three, but I'm going to do 10 because I am impatient in a word real fast. Does anyone else like me with that? I love when things happen fast. So I'm always going to put 10. Austin, do you have anything you want to share about um, plagiarism? We'll see if he comes on. And if not, that's fine too. We still can't hear you. No. He says one second. Okay. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he shall not. <laughs> All right. So, and if you do just interrupt me. So check this out, you guys, you take out the attention, interest, desire, action. Who here realizes that this is a perfect script for a TikTok, a YouTube short, a caption, a post on social. This could be an email. So literally you can go through and find the one that feels the most aligned. And then I'm going to tweak it to be in my voice just a little more so. So I'm a huge fan of kind of almost like piecemealing different pieces of this and saying, I like this right here. I like this interest one. I like this attention one. Um, pretty dang powerful. Drop a yes in the chat if this feels helpful for you. Danielle, hey, Rachel, you know can you hear me? The beginning. Yes, I can. Sweet. All right, y'all. So how cool is this? I see the chat's blowing up right now. People are mind blown. Uh, and I can tell you a little background if you're curious about how it works. Let's go for it. So Jarvis is a real AI <laughs> and it has read 90, uh, 10 of the internet, uh, which most of the internet is private. So it's read most of the public internet. And so it understands how to write really, really well. And it also knows how to read. So what you just typed in, uh, is the input and it's combining that input with everything that it's read. So all of the niches, all of those different topics, those articles, those blog posts. And so it's very knowledgeable. It has really good uh, sense of language. And then it's going to apply all of that knowledge to your prompt. Now, we've actually trained it since our background is in marketing on all of these uh, expert copywriting and content frameworks so that you can quickly and easily uh, crank out this content. And so how cool is that? Uh, and it writes totally original content. So uh, we were asking about plagiarism here. The uh, content is not pulling from any one specific source, but rather it is combining all of the sources and then writing original content. And we just wanted to prove this to you all. So we actually teamed up with our friends over at Copyscape, which is the number one plagiarism checker uh, uh on the internet. And so we've teamed up with them inside of boss mode. You can now just run a plagiarism check and 99% of the time it's free of plagiarism. You can go and look at that every single time just to be a hundred percent sure. Um, and yeah, there's kind of like two plans. So you have like the starter, which is for short form copy. That's what we're going to stick with today. But then there's a whole nother plan that's long form content for like blog posts and stuff like that. Ooh, fantastic. Okay. So real fast. I love that. Uh, I'm actually glad that I had you answer that because you have the more technical answer. Drop a yes in the chat. If this training already today is going to save you some time either on planning and or on the creation part. And what's really fantastic is that you, you want to make sure to, um, that you use this to support you and keep you from getting burnt out. So if you're in a place where you're getting burnt out, awesome. I will say that if I were brand new to marketing, this training would just be a little bit overwhelming. I'd probably have to watch it three times in order to understand the power of this. If you've never built a marketing strategy, please know that sometimes this can be intense. We're, we're diving into a lot of intense things, but trying to simplify it. So feel free to watch this several times. It will be on our YouTube channels. Um, we still have bonuses coming out. We still have the sheet coming your way. We still have the Google Doc coming. Can I show you guys a couple more things before we dive into automation? Because I want to respect your time and mine. <gasps> Should we keep heating up? I'm having fun. All right, so we are in creation mode currently. So I'm going to share this. I love 
Um, my, I'm just going to share my personal favorite templates within Darvis. Um, I love AIDA. I love that one. It's actually really perfect scripts for a lot of social videos, especially social selling videos. I love PAS. Um, I use Content Improver quite a bit, um, but I'm going to grab a couple more that I absolutely love, and I'll finish adding a couple more of these later. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. Ready for it? Have you ever struggled with coming up with titles for your YouTube videos? Check this out, how to grow on TikTok. Are you guys about to have your minds blown? Are you ready for this? So check this out. We're gonna do, sometimes I, I push limits a little, so I'm gonna put TikTok growth, even though it says keyword, I'm putting keywords and I'm sure it'll be fine. Someone just said that Rachel Peterson's a tone of voice and I actually really believe that. So I'm gonna test it because I've never tried Rachel Peterson as a tone. Let's check it out. I have a feeling it's going to sound like legally, uh, legally blonde for business, right? Like totally. What? Like it's hard. Okay. So let's check it out. We've got some, you ready for this? How to get 10,000 followers per, on TikTok in two months and $15 per day. Obviously we would change that slightly, but who here says this is fantastic. Let's keep checking. These three are gorgeous. These would make great speeches. These would make great, make great subject lines. These would make great blog titles, YouTube video titles. This is stunning. I'm obsessed. So see how just by <clears throat> looking at several of these, you can find multiple ones that are golden and not every single one's perfect, but Jarvis does learn a lot and it's been getting better every single month that I've used it. Pretty cool. Drop a yes if your mind is blown because I'm having so much fun. Sorry for anyone wearing headphones. I like to yell. Okay, let's keep on going. So I'm going to show you one, uh, a couple more that I'm obsessed with. So let's say that you are creating um, reasons why people should want to buy your uh, TikTok for business bundle. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the TikTok for business bundle helps business owners grow their TikTok presence. And I could put a lot more there. Nope, presence, there we go. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put Rachel Peterson tone of voice. It's so weird, because some of them I was like, that's exactly what I would put. That's actually kind of freaky. Austin. That's freaky. It's so cool. So I can. Really <laughs> hey, well, that. you've been creating content for so long. Jarvis has read a lot yeah. of your stuff already. It's so fun. It's so <laughs> fun. Okay. So see all of these, you guys look at this. I could literally bundle a bunch of these together and literally explain to someone the benefits of why they would want to buy my TikTok for business bundle. Drop a yes in the chat if this is going to help you with emails, with your bios on social media, with your posts, with all of your content. So are you guys seeing why I like to use different ones for different things? They're so fantastic. A few more that are my favorites. I love perfect headline to help me. Um, I actually use that for a lot of different things. I kind of like to mix and match. Um, I'm more of a cook than a baker. So I, or a chef than a baker. So I like to throw things together and try things versus some people are very systematic about what they use. Photo post captions are fantastic. Video topic ideas are fantastic. Uh, personalized cold emails, email subject lines. These are so good that we have to look. And then we're going to dive into the next point real fast. Who here says that this is going to save you time, energy, money, uh, resources in 2022? Who here says this training has been so helpful? Um, I'm not even seeing your comments. I'm not doing that for my ego. I just later on, I'm going to review it. Make sure you guys are in a great space. Okay. We're going to do a Rachel Peterson email. So the email is all about how business owners can grow their TikTok. Are you guys seeing how literally in just like five minutes, we can come up with all of the content that we need to support us? Uh, if we've done the right planning and research, that's pretty powerful. Okay. That's why it's so important you have a plan. Otherwise, every single day you face overwhelm. I'm. How do I know? I'm the same way. Uh, I get super overwhelmed. Okay. Are you a business owner? How to get followers? Three tips. These are so good already. These are very, very, very good. Um, now I'm going to change the tone of voice a little because this is the only area where I go a little wild when it comes to email subject lines. I love weird email uh, subject lines. So I'm going to go bold here. I would try energetic. I would try snarky. I would try witty. Um, I like things that get attention when it comes to subject lines. So this is good. Are you on TikTok? That's gorgeous. 
Okay. That is so fun. TikTok for business. TikTok 101. Facebook is dead. <gasps> I'm using this one next week. I'm literally copying and pasting it for myself. That is so good. I'm obsessed. Who here says I'm obsessed with this? So I'm going to share with you guys a few of my favorites. So email subject line. Um, I love persuasive bullet points. Um, video titles. Um, I love, I, uh, hold on. Let's just look at a couple more of mine. So you guys can have access to just like the cliff notes of my faves. I also really love marketing angles gets you thinking in fun ways. Marketing angles. These are just my personal favorites, by the way. Other people have uh, their favorites. Um, oh, I love personal bio. Uh, this helps so much when you're like, I don't know what to say about myself. We all feel that way. Whenever people are like, describe yourself right now, I hate when they put me on the spot with that because I'm like, I don't know. I'm a nerd. I like reading. I have three kids. I love the personal then... bio. I actually used it to write your personal bio when I wrote the uh, the post promoting this training. Are you serious? Yeah. It's so good. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love it. I do like engaging questions because this sometimes gets me thinking, but these are my absolute favorites. I use these all the time. And then I also do tap into boss mode from time to time. Okay. So drop a yes in the chat. If this has already been so helpful, we're going to take it one step deeper. Cool. So let's pause on the screen share real fast. So you basically, um, one thing I want you to keep in mind, sometimes people will say to me like, Hey, Rachel, I tried using Jarvis and I didn't like the output. Okay. This is true with a lot of things. Garbage in, garbage out. Um, I'm only laughing about that because it sounds really harsh. But one thing I want to share with you, and this is super helpful for me, you want to tweak your inputs. So if you tweak your inputs until you get the results that you want or test different templates, it's super helpful. This remind, this is actually true across the board. So what's super, super helpful with... Um, what for me with Jarvis is to remember that if I'm not getting the answers that I, I need, if I'm not putting in really, really good uh, inputs, or if I'm not putting in inputs that are clear and answering the question that they're asking of me, then they're not going to be able to give me the answer I need. So tweak your inputs. The truth is, you guys, Jarvis can create this type of content. Are there any industries Jarvis can't create content for? Um. Yeah, so we can't create content around like um, risque industries. Got yeah. it. That's a really important distinction. Yeah, um, uh, but it under it understands most industries and what it will write about. Now, here's a, a couple pro tips for inputs. Uh, sometimes less is more. So giving it focus. If you try and give it a ton of information, then it'll try. It'll like go in different directions. So maybe you want to like piece together like building blocks, um, your post, you know, if you can, you can start off with like, uh, attention grabber and then social proof and then scarcity. But if you try and put all of that in the same, it might get a little jumbled. Second pro tip is, uh, if it's news, uh, like if it has been after 2019 when it read the internet, then you should give it those that context in the input so that it now knows about COVID or it knows about your new business, whatever. Um, third pro tip is that if you are a new business or the topic is new, but there is something relatable, like... Uh, Let's say that you have a new skincare line. Well, maybe you should do an ad for proactive. It's read a lot about proactive and then just replace uh, the, the name of the output proactive with your skincare line. So you can put in competitors, you can put in uh, known subjects and then just replace it. So uh, I found that that really helps improve the outputs. I love that. Who here says that was already super, super, super helpful. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Are you guys ready? Question for you all. Who here says, I literally feel like I have the entire Cliff Notes and Cheat Sheet for planning research and creating content. This is pretty darn accessible. Uh, this is going to save you a lot of time. This is going to save you money, heartache, um, trial and error. Ask me how I know. 
who here has gotten so many golden nuggets today. I'm so excited. And we're going to still keep on going. Cool. Who here is excited about getting the viral framework content calendar that you can fill in for yourself? And who here is excited about getting this um, Google Doc that I am working in? So let's go ahead and switch. We can share my screen again. And I'm super excited about this. So we're going to dive on in. We've got create, we use Jarvis. Now, in case you guys are like, what is the name of the training for um, planning? It's called the viral framework. Uh, there we go. The viral framework is all set. So we've got plan and research down. We've got creation down. And now we're going to go to automation. So quick question for you guys. Who here says, if I have to actually post all of my content in real time, there's no way it's going to happen because life is busy. So many different things happen. Um, I've got a lot of errands that I run throughout the day or I spend so much time in the, uh, in the what's it called, uh, carpool lane, right? You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? So automation is huge. So automation is big because you can create all the content in the world, right? And I will tell you guys, I have stores and stores and stores and stores of, so you're like, what's the store uh, folder? I have stores and stores and stores and stores of content creation. And I am more of a just-in-time content creator, but that's because uh, of my personal quirks and I'm needing to actually move towards batching and scheduling a lot more just for us to remain sustainable. So I am really, really embracing automation systems and processes. So if you need to automate, I wish you could automate your kids, right? No kidding. Just kidding. We love kids. So <laughs> what's awesome about batching your content, meaning you spend, let's say like Sunday nights creating your content, a lot of people will reach out to me and say, you know, Rachel, I have tons of content that I've created. I don't know how to actually get it out there. So now we're going to dive on in to automate. Now, I personally have used every single social media scheduler uh, on the face of the planet. And the truth is, you guys, my favorite one by far is Metricool. I actually work with them as my client now. Uh, what I love about Metricool is that it is super comprehensive for scheduling and it's cost effective. Cool. So by far it has been the best, like it meets the, those two points on the graph. And so I'm super excited to share with you guys how this works. Now we're moving into this. I'm being super transparent. We've always scheduled stuff for our clients, but we haven't been great about scheduling stuff for me and we're realizing it needs to happen now. So in 2022, you're going to see us scheduling a lot more content. Okay. So check this out. So this is how you can automate it all. So so you can connect every single social media platform, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Google My Business, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads. And I heard a rumor that in I actually probably shouldn't say this yet. They are going to be getting some capabilities to schedule on certain platforms that <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Actually, I'm not allowed to say anymore. So what I want to show you guys is you can also see the analytics. So you can, let's say, schedule your content on a Sunday night. And then the following Sunday night, take a peek at your analytics and see what happens. Now you guys can see who here is noticing that I am out of love with Facebook pages, completely out of love. You can tell when your intention disappears from a platform, but I do love Twitter. I love it so much and everything's kind of growing and it's kind of fun and it's the right people. So it's really exciting. Okay. So the truth is you can use Metricool to schedule on each and every platform, but then also create reports. So for social media managers, especially and agencies, this is going to be a huge time saver. Metricool actually has um, reporting. You can export reports as like a what's it called as a PowerPoint or a PDF. And they also have a link in bio tool so you can replace milkshake or link tree and they have a media kit tool. So check this out. You go on into planning and this actually shows you the best times to post who here says this is juicy and gorgeous. Yes. You do not need to guess. Uh, I've actually paid for software that told me what the best time to post was. And so I love this because this is a functionality that has only ever been available on more of the expensive platforms. Um, not all of them, but I love this. So I can not guess. I can just post an hour 
30 minutes right before my audience is the most active. So you can look on each and every platform and discover your best times to post and then go ahead and create a new post. Now, the cool part is this is really easy. And we're actually going to now use Jarvis and Metricool in conjunction together. So I'm going to create a cool caption. Are you guys ready for this? I'm actually going to use right now the photo post caption because the post that I'm about to share is actually already copy that I've used Jarvis to help me create. Did you hear me on that? <sighs> so cool. So we're going to go ahead and pick one of my posts. I've got a really good post that I like. Uh, that I wrote the other day. PSA, if a woman isn't wearing makeup, don't ask her if she's tired. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. If a woman isn't wearing makeup, don't ask her if she's tired. Now remember, we're going to see how this turns out. Let's go ahead and add some witty captions. I'm going to find a caption to add a layer of interest here. Pretty cool. We're about to share the uh, calendar and the Google Doc with you guys in just a moment. Ready? Okay. I'm not tired. I just woke up like this. These are so good. Do you guys see this? Ooh, this one's also good. It's a clap back. I'm not tired. I just woke up like this. I don't need makeup to look beautiful. These are so good. Okay. Ready for it? Let's go ahead and actually, I'm going to go ahead and just drag this picture over here. We've got the picture ready. I'm going to add my caption and we're going to go ahead and save it. And then we get to drag it to exactly where we want it. So I'm going to post it right before my audience is the most active. So there's a visual representation of the calendar. Holy moly donut shop. Isn't this so good? We can stop my screen share because this is already going to save so many people so much time. Who here says from planning, research, creating, scheduling, this is going to absolutely change the game for a few people, right? I love this. Someone's like, this is so good. I'm going to cry. Uh, actually, truth, Jarvis and Metricool are soulmates. They just don't realize it yet. I'm just kidding. They, they realize it. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, I want to give resources uh, that are needed. So I'm going to send these to Austin as well as making sure that they're posted on every single platform. So you'll be able to make a copy of this. Okay. So you can make a copy of the, uh, of the calendar and you can make a copy of my notes that I am working in today. So quick question for you guys. How are you feeling? How would you explain this training? Are you glad that you put this time into this today? Was this worth it? Did you get more nuggets than you expected? Who here says this is so simple and literally anyone can do this? This is pretty awesome, isn't it? This is going to make 2022 a game changer. Fantastic. I love, these are fantastic. Okay, so I am going to, I think my team is hanging out here. So my team is going to send me the names of the most engaged on our end. And once my team sends me that, we're actually going to reply to your comments directly. And then we'll go ahead and reach out to you. Cool. So we've got you. Um, I'm going to let my team know because they're listening and they're probably like, Rachel, you always bring this on us and you drive us crazy with that. Austin, are you going to share who the winners are or not yet? Oh, we can't hear you again. I miss him. Come back. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Austin's like, stop it, Rachel. <laughs> well, we can't hear Austin. Oh, yeah. We can't know. Yay. There we go. <laughs> I, th I think we're breaking restream. Uh <laughs> I think we are too. So you know what, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and share the links for the calendar and the Google Doc on my YouTube channel. And I sent it to Austin too, so they can send it as needed, share it on their YouTube channel as well. Uh, also, yeah, we have two powerful resources that will support you guys because this, this training is in conjunction with Jarvis and Metricool. So while I'm not making you an offer, I am affiliated or uh, connected with both. So I want to be super transparent about that. But we have some awesome bonuses. If you've not signed up for Jarvis yet, you can grab my KLT bonus for free uh, just by signing up. And the Metricool link gives you 14 days of free use. So you can use the code Jarvis, which is kind of fun since you're here hanging out and getting tons of value. What else do people need to know, Austin? I know this is already going yeah. wrong, but I'm well, having fun. It, well, it's hilarious because I... 
the, the chat is so engaged that I think it's like overloading yes, uh, restream. And so whenever I'm like trying to hop in, it's like, <laughs> you know, stalling. Uh, yes. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for showing up live. Uh, we're going to hook up Rachel's audience uh, with 10,000 words for free. So if you go to Jarvis.ai slash Rachel, then you can try Jarvis free of charge uh, for try 10,000 words. Give it a shot. Um, you know, no matter what niche you're in, Jarvis will figure out how to sell for you. Amazing. Isn't you guys, isn't Jarvis so fantastic? Who here loves it? I absolutely love it. Who here says Metricool looks so simple? Who here says I can use answer the public? Who here got some awesome nuggets today? I know it's this is too much. Restream actually probably hates us right now. They're <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, so we will go ahead. Sometimes we actually overwhelm technology. This happens when we're having way too much fun, which is fine. Um, so we're going to go on over to my YouTube channel and we'll announce who the most engaged were there. So Austin, you and I can connect after this, talk about the most engaged. We'll announce it there because there's literally so much that it's actually freezing the stream for us. <laughs> so I will go share who the most engaged engaged on my end are Austin will share the most engaged on his end. We will reach yeah, out. I'm going to be looking for three people that shared the hashtag nugget with an awesome piece of knowledge for the community. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll DM you and get one of these hoodies. So amazing. And then I will share the content calendar and the Google doc I'm working out of in the bio and comments of my YouTube. I'll send it to Austin too, so that they can share it as well. So go check that out, you guys. I will catch you all later. Anything else, Austin? No, that's it. Thanks so much for having fun with us today. Thanks for having fun, everybody. This was so great. Okay, we'll talk soon.